PS500 industrial heater is simple to operate and service. Today, I'll show you the easy startup and shutdown procedures, explain the functions of the three beacon indicator light, then talk about the duct attachments and easy access serviceability. Let's begin. To start up the ES500, first ensure the unit is level side to side with a forward tilt and check that off circuit breakers are in the off position. Begin the startup procedure by turning the DC disconnect switch to on, then push the auto button on the control unit. Next, push the manual start button to start the generator set. Let the generator warm up with no load for three to five minutes, then flip the circuit breakers to the on position. Turn the heater switch to manual or thermostat. Within 90 seconds, the burner will complete its safety cycle and ignite. Then the fan will start and you'll be up and running. Now, the ES500 shutdown procedure. First, shut down the burner by moving the control switch to the off position. Allow the blower fan to run for up to five minutes to cool the burner. Turn off the generator by pushing the off button on the control unit and return all breakers to the off position. The ES500's three beacon light saves time by giving operators quick visual alerts to changing conditions within the unit. The green light indicates that the generator set is running normally. The red light indicates that the burner is not producing heat, and the yellow light indicates a low fuel level. The ES500 has two 12-inch outlet ducts and one 20-inch inlet duct. Attaching and detaching ductwork is easily accomplished using the built-in quick-release toggle clamps. The design of the ES500 makes oil, air, and fuel filter servicing simple. The 200% secondary fluid containment tank contains accidental spills and is easy to drain. Please contact your local ESR sales representative or visit the ES500 support page on our website for more details.